Welcome to Barrow Brothers. Today we're doing something, well, we haven't done for a little while. Le President. Le President. It was off getting a little bit of work done and um, we had a small mishap. It was being moved around and this is caught on a guy was driving it and this caught on a gate just on the rubber there and it's actually bent the bar trying to find one of these is damn near impossible you just <laughs> there, there's not many of them in japan and there's bugger all of them here in australia so i thought i might have a go at fixing it maybe with some blocks and blocks of wood and the press got to get it off first and that's what i'm gonna do here now we'll jack her up put her on stands and uh, get underneath and see how this old lot comes off looks heavy too feels like it's attached somewhere else it's had a hit here it's had a hit here it's had a hit there it's had a decent hit in there when your butt's this big you're gonna take out some medicine bystanders gotta be something in there behind here you know i can I took the two bolts off there. I suppose there is something in the middle. I'm just not sure what. We'll take the other, the other side off and see what happens. Ooh. That's heavy, man. Just get all the stuff off it and see if we can come up with some sort of a plan. So it was just four bolts holding it up onto the car. So what we'll do now, we'll get it up on the, I've just cleaned a bit of bench over here with some carpet on it. We'll get it onto here, see what we can do. Oh, that's got some dents in it. That's that's a big dent there. That was that happened before I uh, I got it that one. But like while we got it off, let's have a go at fixing some of this stuff, shall we? The rubbers are held on by these screws here, so we can take all of these guys off and get the rubbers off. These just look like they held on with that. There's our big toe ball dent, and the other one. Um, it's hooked up behind here and pulled, pulled, it's hooked up behind here, pulled the bumper that way and of course this, being attached to the car, wasn't going anywhere so it's bent around that area there. So if we can flatten this back out on this area here, I don't know if you can see that, that where it's bent up here, I think we've got a good chance of pushing this back uh, semi into shape. Let's give it a go. Okay, so we've given all the bolts a hit of rust off. These ones are a 14. The ones holding the rubbers on are 10s. Oh, whoop, the rust off is just about empty. Lucky I've got a whole box of this stuff. So what I'm going to do now is drill out these, get these rusty um, brackets off. So I'll drill out the pop rivets and then we'll proceed to um, undo the brackets here. This bracket here has got this big brace off to the oh it's offset that's why this is offset inwards that one doesn't have one but yeah it's it's really quite bent down here and we've got this big ding in here so i think that we can get this fairly straight ish i'm optimistic at this point of time yeah i think we'll do those first Yeah, brackets out the way. Oh, I see. That's why that bolt's there, so it evens up on the outside. So we've got those nice chromey gizmos on the other side there. But I put those bolts there again. All that stuff can go on the bin. Okay, the Rostov's had a little bit of a chance to penetrate, so let's try undoing some of these guys. Yeah, it does want to come. We might have to clean up that thread, actually. It's square, but it's, ho it's holding it up that's the problem. Because that has bent the bumper, it's bent this bolt inwards, and it's a little bit hard to get to now. Okay, we can go so far. We might have to do the wedge of screwdriver under it trick. All right, so that's just a chrome head, so the, the hole will be square. As soon as we loosen it off, though, this falls out, so. We might have to wedge a screwdriver underneath it to pull it up so it so it keeps the head in the square hole. I think I've got just a thing for that actually. That one. 
but this other one started first. Actually, we might put that away before I start knocking these over and, st and onto the floor, which is always a real problem when you've got four or five drills hanging around. No. Spanner for that one. The whole thing must move. Actually, what I might do, clean up these threads. The threads are a little bit rusty. Give it a hit with the air that might blow everything away. And then, yeah, we'll give it another go from there. Okay, just put it back uh, down on the ground. It's a lot better. I'm kind of running out of time here. <laughs> so I've got to be out of the place uh, in probably half an hour or so. So yeah, I didn't film a lot of it, but I stripped everything off. These are pretty perished, as you can see. It's still got a bit of a buckle there, but we're back sitting quite well. Um, fixed up that big dent that we had in there a bit uh, and how I did it was had it balanced on this ladder and in the press in here and just with this piece of wood brrr, and pressed it uh, pressed it back into shape and it bent back up again so I thought well I'm, I'm on a good run I'll have a go at the other one too used a soft hammer and belted a few dents out of it so it's it's probably the straightest it's been for some years I mean it could it really it's starting to it's got a couple of rust spots in there one of the bolts i had to cut off uh because it was a bit rusty but um good from far <laughs> the old saying goes what's the big hurry to get this thing sort of looking half decent it needs a really good wash and a polish and a clean on the inside i think i'll put my mats in and doilies and because we're going on uh, every couple of years we've got a bunch of mates that go on a a bunch of mates with a very eclectic bunch of cars and bits and pieces who uh we go on a pub run well, it's not actually a pub run we we like drive to one pub and stay there <laughs> for a couple of nights and then come back but it is it's a lot of fun and they're a good bunch of blokes and i hope to film a fair bit of it uh depends if they let me or not so yeah we'll have the camera in the car and um should be good oxy tech pub run and it's invites only people <laughs> a glorious new day and we're back on the president again we need to clean we do a bit of cleaning on the inside uh, because yeek needs a good vacuum out but not only that we've got all our mats to put in and undo the door locks it came with a full set of doilies as well I don't normally run them because I'm a bit of a, you know, I work in a greasy and dirty environments and they're white. So what I've done is I've chucked them in the washing machine, I've bleached them all first so they're as white as they can be. We'll put them all on today, that's the plan. Treatment. The amount of the stuff this thing's got. It. <laughs> Look at the lights and the doors, even. You know, and then like these lights in here. So we turn that on, but it also turns this one on. You can have it there, or you can have that one on. Right, that one's open with the door. We close the door. We can also turn that on separately. See there. We can just have this one on, which is the map light, or we can have both on. The grab handle is also spring-loaded, so you know, can hang on to there. These are all leather, by the way, um, in this particular model, the VIP. Uh, spring-loaded, so when you're not using it, it pops back up. I've no idea what this is for. It, it was in the car. looks like it, somebody's put it in there afterwards. And see, these guys here, these are hard now, but once upon a time, they were soft. And the idea is that... Um, if you're lying here like that, you know, you know, you've done the under the leg thing. I'll open the door so we can get a bit more light. So you've done the thing here. And you've uh, reclined the seat forward, as you know. So you're having a bit of a sleep. It's so you can have your head. See, it's nice. It's a pillow. Even the port for putting your um, putting your feet through from the back you'd expect this just to be on a straight hinge wouldn't you no it can't leave this out 
there on these chromey hinges. Man, this thing's over engineered to hell. I love it though, absolutely love it. All done on the inside. We still got to clean under the bonnet. I thought we'd do all the clean stuff first, but welcome to Fairyland with the red carpet treatment. Um, these are all sort of fairly old and raggedy. This is, as you can see, these two front ones are missing the trim around the bottom. And this driver's side headrest one has uh, kind of fallen apart in the wash. So we'll have to do a bit of repairs to that. Might do that tonight, but yeah. Carpets have come up, uh, well the mats have come up pretty well. And the backs look pretty good. Yeah, pretty pleased with that. Well, we made it here. It rained on the way over, so the president's filthy. But there's a great bunch of cars here, I'll tell you. Check these out. HQ. <laughs> Chevy Love. Check them out. Colt. Single spinner. And over the other side of the road. Check these out. Scotty's Monaro. It's gotta be a good weekend. Well, we're off to a good start. Scotty's just handed out some uh, boxes with some pub run snacks, because this is an OxyTech pub run. And check this out. <laughs> Complete with bottle opener. But here's the thing. Road trip snack. Party mix. Couple of cans of drink. Man thinks of everything. <laughs> so this stuff's going on the passenger side or passenger side floor for that one. And this one on the passenger side seat. Because I don't have a passenger as of yet, but you can bet. As soon as people realise that I'm in a large luxury limousine, I'm going to end up with a passenger. Here we are at the first stop, which is Stitched Up Customs over yonder. We've had a couple of little failures. Scotty is nowhere to be seen in the green Monaro, but uh, a few of the guys have made it. Some um, with injuries. <laughs> God, don't you love this? Check it out. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? Chevy love. And the, the Patina. The Patina. It's fabulous. Um, I have seen a photo of this with a shock absorber lying next to it. Um, so this has had some dramas. That's just run like a bloody train the whole way. And the Colt, of course. The Colt just runs like a bloody train. Now, problem has been, if you look up, see there's a bit of a point on the driveway as you come in. Now, my car grounded, but uh, we've had a bit more of a problem over here. Kind of sucks, but yeah, we've got a, <laughs> got a bit of work here to get that going. I don't know what the story with Scotty is, but we'll catch up with him later on, I presume. Let's have a look inside. Check this out. Okay, so not my taste in wheels, but as you well know, but this isn't about the wheels. This place is about the upholstery, and it's just awesome. Check this out. Check the boot. Like just that. white dash, white. I'm way too grubby to have an interior that looks like that, but white dashes, I don't know. I put a piece of paper on the top of my dash and the reflections just give me the shit. Check Chevelle out. Aston. Have a look at the interior on this thing. Look at that. Check your seats out. Just wild. <laughs> Maybe they could stitch up my, my shitty doily that fell to pieces in the wash.
Thanks for watching uh, me try and fix my heaps of junk and um, good on yous. We'll see you next time. This poor bloke, me <laughs> navigating. <laughs> Turn left right here, right? Right, yeah, left, right. All right, go very left of this truck.